Okay, hey, hey everyone, this is Vita back with a second collective message for you today. It is still Tuesday around 11.15 a.m. Chicago time. It's raining a little bit. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's get into this. What else does the collective need to be aware of today? Oh, we got some gang stalking going on. But you are not concerned about this gang stalking. What is this about? You are annoyed by the gang stalking, but unafraid. Yesterday, someone parked a four-door Hyundai silver sedan in the empty vacant lot next to me. So I called my neighbor and I asked him about it. He didn't know. He called it in, the license plate number. The dispatcher told him to stay away from the car. 20 minutes go by, CPD comes twirling around the corner with the lights on. Four squad cars, they blocked off the alley. Then there was the van, the, uh, the crime van or whatever the hell. Then it was like six cops circling the car. I was running back and forth on the second floor of the house watching. They had that car open. They had the trunk open. Next thing you know, one of the dudes, the cops got in the car. He was he didn't have on a um, uniform, just the vest. Got in the car and drove that sucker off down the alley. It was quite exciting, I have to say. So... <laughs> This gang stalking here is what prompted me to say that. So, you know, keep keep aware of your surroundings, regardless if you're afraid or not. People are doing the most out here in these streets. I'm telling you, it is very interesting. Angel number 644, your life mission requires that you be your authentic self and work at your most brilliance. That's right. Work at your most brilliant. Some of you, most of you, all of you are brilliant, spectacular. You don't need anyone to tell you this. You know what you're what you're made of. You're working on something. I really feel the energy of uh, just worker bee energy. You know, there's a task at hand. There's a goal. You know, there's something bigger, you know, bigger on the horizon for you got to make it happen, man. Making it happen. Say what you mean and really mean it. Stop pretending. So there's energy of someone here. This could be your energy. It could be someone that you're dealing with. Someone is not speaking their mind. And I can tell you, you know, you hold too much back. The next thing you know, you're pissed off and exploding every which way, or either you're just keeping something inside and it, it doesn't work out it's not healthy speak your mind right speak your mind don't pretend don't shrink yourself these people they can kick rocks with all of this competition and hate that they got going on the answers you seek can't be found where you currently are so oh well, this is interesting because we've got the same ink here. So whatever answers you're seeking, maybe you've sought the advice of someone and they're just a BSer, like, you know, they don't want to tell you like it is. Maybe you've, you're currently around people that just can't tell you the truth for whatever reason. Some folks are like that. Uh, it's not my preference. I, I like straight shooters. So you could be this straight shooter and you're tired of being around folks that just like shoot the breeze and they're not talking about anything meaningful. You're not going to find anything, any answers to whatever it is that you're seeking. You know, you got to go higher up, higher authority. Oh my gosh, I don't want to read this card. Look at this. Here we are with this player. This player and his dribble being so sloppy. And the demon took the balls and crushed them in claws made of metal. So someone feels crushed by you. They feel like you've got claws made of metal that could, the metal could literally be your tongue. You certainly could be this person that does say what you mean and you really mean it. You stand on what you are saying. You don't back down. Someone doesn't want to hear what you have to say because it's too much of the truth. Some people can't handle the truth. Let's see, angel number 644. Right, exactly. Your life mission 
is for you to be your authentic self. And you cannot be authentic and at your most brilliant if you're around folks that are hee-hawing about how terrible life is and what's not getting done and this, that, and the other. And they're pretending like they're doing this and that and they're not doing anything. You can't find anything. No answers will be found hanging out with those sorts of people. Your life mission requires more. Something about more. More is being required of you. Well, damn. Angel number 644. Child. Oh, interesting. So that's a number 18. Could be significant. You could be a parent. This is your child. They're absolutely brilliant. They amaze you every day. This could be you. You've been this authentic being since you were a child. There's a new beginning, a new start. There's a childlike wonderment, innocence coming through. You're not allowing yourself to get frustrated with the mundane thoughts. Someone's thinking, oh, someone is, oh, look at this. Mature man, marriage, false person. You know what? This combo came out. I got to up my shuffling game. I don't know what's going on with those folks. Let's try this again. There is someone thinking a lot about you. It's got to do with this childlike, innocent energy that you embody that allows you to be more authentic than what people are accustomed to. I just saw a thief. Some of you could be dealing with a thief. Some of you could be dealing with a thief. Thief of joy. <laughs> It's a bunch of thieves of joy out here. You're not going to find any answers to your problems with them. You are annoyed by the gang stalking. So that's where that trio of folks, those could be the gang stalkers. Someone's on your tail, man. Someone is on your tail trying to ride your coattail. You are not annoyed. You are not afraid, but you are aware. Boom. Courtship. Number four. I don't know why I'm loving that. That's interesting. Interesting courtship. So there's someone watching you that wants to take you out, basically. Somewhat basic. Like, this is not like, I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. <laughs> Toil and labor. Like I said, mundane. Something about mundane, like daily life. Someone is trying to break free from and you're leading this person or guiding this person in that way. Your authenticity is guiding others to get away from this laborious, unrewarding sort of like energy, really. Courtship. Are you interested in this courtship, though? I don't think anyone wants anyone stalking anybody. Any, any, any. Something about any. You're not taking anything. You just won't accept any sort of offer. This could be this player here that's not dribbling their ball anymore. The ball's been deflated. Someone's dealing with a demon that's got claws made of metal. This demon could be working on your behalf. Hmm. Say what you mean and really mean it. Stop pretending. Someone needs to stop pretending. Stop stalking. Whatever this is, wealthy man face down, landing under. The answers you seek can't be found where you currently are. So maybe you're attracting this wealthy masculine energy, male or female, take it how it might resonate for you. They, oh, official person, 22. What's going on here? So there's a wealthy man that wants to speak with you. They could be in some sort of official capacity. This could be an offer of some, some kind. Someone could be a law enforcement. I was talking a little bit about the law enforcement a five minute sequel or whatever it was I was witnessing yesterday. It was quite, I don't know why I was so entertained. I really was. It was a lot of excitement for me. Y'all know I'm getting old. I'm 55. I like to <laughs> remind folks of my age. 
Oh my God. So the number 55 could be significant to someone. The number 13, number four, <clears throat> say what you mean and really mean it. So they could, there could be a wealthy man that really has something to say to you and they really mean it. Main female. I don't know. This, this character right here, I just can never like, I never know what this is about with this, this broad here. <clears throat> I don't feel like this is collective energy. So you could be dealing with somebody. This could be a friend. And every time you have a conversation and you might ask them something, that they just are like, yeah, if you think so. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just agree. They don't have any feedback. Ugh. They see you as a gift. Or someone wants you to be their main person, their main character in their life. This is about courtship to a degree. Here we have the mature man here, privileged lady, thoughts, marriage. So for some of you, there is a marriage on the horizon, some sort of union or yeah. Let's just get another round, see what else we got. Child, angel number 644. Some of you could be 44, some of you could be born in the month of June divinely protected and guided throughout your life this is landing on courtship message of concern so somebody oh that's pretty basic 414 is a uh, sequence to something i'm not sure what that's about breaks down to a nine but the number 414 could be significant to some of you fourth month, 14th day, something that happened in 2014. You could have become aware of this gang stalking in the year 2014 or started your awakening. Someone's very concerned. They're watching you, trying to figure out what you got going on. Are you with somebody or not? Have you broken up with somebody? Are you available? Something about your availability. Unexpected income. You got some unexpected income, something coming to you. Someone has tried to intercept it. That could be why this gang stalking energy is here. Whatever it is, whatever is meant for you will come to you eventually. Something about a delay, child 18. Oh, so 644 breaks down to a 14. So there's someone very concerned about you being in your mission. Yep, and as I say that, here is concern right here, master number 33. Master, you're mastering something when it comes to your mission in life. It has to do very much with your character, your personality, your creator, a master creator. Someone's very concerned about your progress. Very concerned, darling. Courtship. Mm -mm -mm. False person. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, toil and labor. Someone can't believe they have to work this hard to try to get your attention. And they are not, it's not sitting well with them. And it's not sitting well with someone that you're getting a lot of attention. That energy was showing up for sure in the last reading. All right, let's keep going. So we got this false person, same position as before, number eight. You know, all right, let's just keep going before I start with my mouth. Message of concern twice. Message of concern, concern about a child. This could be about a child, but it feels more like you living authentically. That's very important right now. It's very important that you continue to do the work that you're doing. You can't be stopped. Someone realizes that you cannot be stopped. Ooh, message of concern. Whoa, toil and labor, 38. So, what? see, this is the thing, too. When you're authentic, like, that's just who you are. That's how you exist, and you don't have to work hard. So, there is a false person that is trying to mimic you, trying to be authentic, but you don't have to try to be authentic. You either are 
or you're not because you're stuck in a false reality. Someone is stuck in a false reality. They want to get out of it. They're watching you. They know that you've got a lot of attention, that you've got a lot of opportunities opening up for you. Something about taking, taking things by the horns. I don't even know if that's a reins, horns, something about horns. Could be the horns of judgment. Main female, two. There's a main female that wants to tell you something. They don't want to pretend anymore. Main female thinking a lot about you or somebody thinking a lot about you, okay? Main female or male, whatever. Somebody's thinking a lot about you. They can't stop. They're tired of pretending about how much they really like you, love you, miss you, imprisonment because they feel trapped. This energy is very persistent that someone trapped in your shadow. Huh. Self-advancement. Someone is having trouble advancing on their spiritual journey. Like the passage is too laborious for whoever this is. It's too much work. They just, they're like, it's, they don't really understand spirituality. And they just think it's some old gung-ho, hoagie type of sandwich. And they don't understand the sacrifice and the endurance that you have to have on this path they feel stuck someone feels very stuck trapped in a mental prison prism something about prism main female marriage face down kind of landed with this wealthy man so there is someone that could be in a marriage and their person is very focused on you. And so they're disheartened, trying to figure out what's going on. How is it that you are now a part of their life? You could know this person or not. Or this could be a potential marriage, because I did say that before. Feels more like an existing marriage, though. Imprisonment, again, still at the bottom. Let's get a card for wealthy man. unexpected income so there's a wealthy man that might have some money this doesn't have to be money but there is some sort of exchange maybe this person is a banker coffin something about coffin this could be inheritance lovers it doesn't feel like inheritance though great fortune bad health house Whatever this wealthy man is going through, it seems to be kind of rough with the coffin here and the bad health. Hmm. I don't know. Huh. Let's see. Let's go another round. I don't usually use this much of the Kipper deck, but let's see. Child and concern. Poverty. Mature woman. So there's someone very concerned about this has to do with you. So maybe you're making a lot of money or you've come out of some sort of hardship. Whatever challenge you've had, you're coming out of it while remaining intact. Okay, thief. So there's someone that does want to come into your reality and... Uh, cause you some inconveniences we'll just say that why is this false person here coffin and then we have community so this could be someone that is in your community this could be a friend group this could be a work situation could be in your neighborhood there's a false person that i feel like wants to speak to you about some of their supernatural occurrences and or this is a false person or the person that you thought was your person that is a very much not really how do you say 
can't find the words for it, but they're just not as spiritually strong as you. They could be a little bit spiritual, but they see how far you've come and they think that it was easy for you. So they want to come in and they want to talk to you. They want to know how is it that you're able to maintain your sanity even. So let's see. You could be leaving all these false people behind or you have. They're very concerned about it. Someone's very concerned. Two people. There's some news that someone's received. You could have uh, caught someone stalking you. They've been harassing you. You had to uh, go to the authorities. Somebody received some papers. This could be a restraining order of some sort. Could very well be. Yeah, look at that. Somebody went too far with you. They got served and now they're like, uh-oh. Person could be unaccustomed with dealing with law enforcement. Someone doesn't know how to deal with the law. Marriage, main female thoughts. Say what you mean. So someone does really want to be with you. They just don't know how. Great fortune. They see you as a great fortune with this privileged lady here and journey. Lover, so this does feel a little bit divine-ish, a little bit divine-ish. Someone sees you as great fortune, very fortunate, brilliance and great fortune. So we've got all that golden light. You could have a golden aura. We've got adjudication here at the bottom. Some of you could be coming into large sums of moolah, something big that's going to allow you the type of comfort that further expands your your uh, authenticity so that you can stay in this life mission whatever you're doing now or whatever you're moving into it is it's it's your life you're giving something your all or you're rededicating yourself to something of the utmost importance to yourself without worrying about what other people think and that's beautiful. Wealthy man. And someone wants to do that. They want to do what you're doing. Wealthy man. Adjudication. House. So this wealthy man, there's some there's some marriage here, something going on, and someone wants to leave someone and come all up where you are currently. Not quite sure how you might feel about that. But, uh, huh, I mean, hmm, let me just see. Why is this marriage here? Four of clubs. It's landing over here with toil and labor and coffin. And then three of clubs. So there's someone, you know what? Someone got served with some divorce papers. This isn't for everybody, but someone got served with some divorce papers. They weren't expecting it. Mm -hmm. Someone's definitely watching your, you, you watching your home. It's a bug. Oh my God. <sighs> Balance. Balancing a situation out. You are annoyed by the gang stalking. You're not allowing any uh, distractions. Poverty. judgment face down so someone really did want to see you down and out it didn't happen it didn't happen all the uh darts the arrows that were were tossed at you that they thought drew blood mm -mm. that's not what happened there is a reversal of fortune that's going on this is that great awakening energy this is that energy of folks that acted a plum fool between the years uh, in 2022 and 2023, these plum fools are getting their behinds handed to them under judgment, false realities collapsing. So, hmm, interesting. Judgment, horns. I did say the horns. Okay, I think I did. Yeah, King of Cups, 
could be dealing with a king of cups yeah here we are with this five of cups energy so yeah it's like you know this is some kind of very odd loopy sort of energy you got some characters that are in your peripheral they're not coming out of the shadows but they're very much focused on you for sure and it's, it's just kind of interesting at this point because that energy could seriously be utilized in another fashion where they could get out of whatever hardships they might be going through if they just learned how to focus on themselves i mean that's the moral of these stories focus on yourself you know let's see let's get an overall energy card belief wow number 11 i did see 11 11 on the clock today and yesterday so we've got master number 11 here the frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source and again here is that synchronicity you know understanding what you are who you are how, what, you, what you can do, what you are doing, not taking your gifts for granted. You know, if you're very gifted, but you're not, like say you're a writer, you're an artist, you're a maker, whatever it is, and you're quite spectacular at what you do, but then you don't do it, then that's kind of taking your, your gift for granted, right? So a lot of you are coming out of that and you're showing your brilliance by really focusing in on your craft because you believe and someone needs to believe in themselves they need to believe that this talent that these gifts that they have comes from a higher source this connection to source and it's very strong so you're very very much connected to source that was a message for the last reading someone knows that now they're not questioning that but they do want to know how did you get, they think that there's just some sort of logical like explanation or whatever, but it's, it's way deeper than that. Someone has to learn how to dig deep on their own. Allowance number nine, the frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment. We've got judgment here and it did land face down. So, Again, being, you know, your belief system, knowing who you are while you're here and allowing things to unfold without those preconceived expectations, without opinion, without fear, without resistance. When we allow the, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. So this is about your expansion. It really truly is. Let's get one of these. So you're doing the damn thing. Whoever you are, you're doing the damn thing. Adventurine, shimmering, brilliance, shimmer, heart-centered, happy-go-lucky vibes, okay? Melancholic inhabitants. Well, that's taking me right back to this, this four of clubs here and this false person and this courtship. So there is someone who's focused on you that is in some dead-end sort of relationship if it's a marriage or they could be married and also have something else on the side and they're just like, I can't take it. They're in a funk. They're in a rut. Hmm. Encountering new people, new places. Hell bent to bring you down to gutter level. Exactly. So there is someone, could be this false person who is indeed hell bent to bring you down to the gutter level because they feel that you are showing off your sparkle. In a nutshell, that's what, what this is. Someone is like, you're showing off. You're showing off. You're taking your spiritual gifts for granted. And, 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 and I don't appreciate it. Okay, loud ass truck. What is that over there? Ah, oh, that school bus. This dude better not park that thing in front of my house. This dude, he, I don't know if his car is broke or what, but he literally is driving a school bus as his, his main 
thing of transport. I'm not judging. <laughs> no judgment. Just don't park it in front of my house. All right. Woo. I get so distracted. So someone is trying to distract you. <laughs> they don't like how much you're shining. They think you're being a show-off. Someone thinks you're being a show-off. This is hysterical. Let's get a card for a false person. <laughs> someone thinks you're being a show-off collective. Oh, look at this. Conscious consumption in Australia. Clarifying false person that's quite interesting so some of you could be in australia something about what you're consuming your consumption how much how little being more conscious some of you could be traveling to australia or leaving there's more here i don't know what this is oh here we are fifth i'm not going to say it so now we're going into that global stage energy. So you're, you're really waking some folks up. If you're in Australia, there's something going on politically. It has to do with uh, consumption. So that could be um, food production even. But whatever it is, if you're positioned in this region, I feel like you're waking folks up. Waking up communities waking up the sleepers something about waking up the sleepers let's get another card for false person all right your new business venture will be profitable in two years time don't trust those who fake it till they make it they will always be fake so this is this false person they, they definitely want to bring you down to a gutter level. They don't want to see your business. If you have a new business and um, it's, it's showing up as profitable, this fake person who's faking it till they make it by pretending to be conscious, right? They're not, they're, uh, they're no good. No good. They want you to uh, be in the gutter. They want to bring you down to their level. So whatever this is about, um, it's got to do with your belief systems, your connection, your strong connection of source, and them throwing some mud on you so you don't shine. Oh, well, good luck with that. Hook a main female, whoever the hell that is. You are dangerous. So there's someone that sees you as dangerous. Continue to share. Mm-hmm. Continue to share your wisdom with others, your love and your light. This is your mission. This is why you're here. This is why some people are very focused on you. They think you're dangerous because you are an escort of souls. And this is why they fear you. Okay? So, there is someone here that fears you a lot. A lot. Not your problem. They see you as dangerous so I don't know somebody might be trying to put you on the no flight uh, zone list or something like that somebody if you're about to travel somebody then done something to try to mess up your travel or they're trying to do something to mess up your travel but your wisdom your great fortune is your faith is your connection to source and you are here to share your wisdom to help in this beautiful, wonderful existence that we all are living simultaneously on whatever spectrum, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get a card for wealthy man. I don't really care for this dude. As of late, I have not been caring for this character here. Just doesn't doesn't feel all that great. So let's see. Let's see. <laughs> oh my gosh. He who is pregnant with evil and conceives trouble gives birth to disillusionment. I told y'all. I don't know what's going on with this person, this energy right here, but they are no damn good. They got a big ass belly full of evil, okay? And they see you as trouble. They see you as dangerous, and this person is probably the one that's dangerous, physically speaking, or whatever. 
But here you are doing your thing, minding your business, being glorious, and you got folks up in their feelings about it. They want to throw mud on you. You know, it's got to do with this spiritual warfare that's on the ground, fifth generational, so fifth dimension. Something about the third, the fourth, and the fifth dimensions. Ooh, I think I'm just going to close this reading out. We are not going to focus on these weirdo energies that are uh, a little bit discombobulated when it comes to their belief systems. Final messages for the collective. Outdoors again. That came out last reading. Courage. Be courageous. Stand up for your beliefs. Belief. Say what you mean and really mean it. Stand on it. Somebody needs to get their ass out of the gutter because they have what it takes. So whoever this is that's so focused on you could be this wealthy man. They have all the resources. They could have a whole bounty of whatever, but they're doing something that completely goes against why they're here. Maybe it has to do with their belief system. They don't have any belief system. This outdoors, it did land face down again, so I'm not really sure why this is showing up two times. Relieve stress, nature, stress, gain new creative ideas. I feel like this has to do, so this outdoors could have to do with Australia. I need another card for this. Outdoors. I'm just going to try this one. Outdoors. I'm really not sure. I don't want to be telling folks to go outdoors if you're supposed to stay inside. What's happening? Outdoors. Introvert. Okay, so some of you have been spending too much time inside. You got to get out outdoors. Marinette. Face down. Okay. What? imagination so some of you are living too much in your head and you got to get out that's not for everybody only take it if it resonates don't get all up in your feels but for some of you you're very introverted you've been spending too much time indoors it's time to get out marinette domination reluctance yeah being reluctant to go outside you know you got to deal with some folks that you perhaps don't want to deal with Hmm. Let's see what else. Outdoors. Calm. So if you are a little bit under stress, then yeah, this, uh, if you're feeling a little stressed, maybe go outside. And you know what? If Just go at a time when you know it's not a lot of people out. Go early in the morning. Get that fresh air. Connect. Hug a tree. Put your feet in the in the in the lake, the ocean, perseverance. And then again, this is somebody that doesn't want you to come out. They don't want you to reemerge because you're stronger than ever before. Foul, robbery, origin, third wheel, okay, inducement. Hmm. All right, I think that's it, y'all. Continue to stand your ground. Continue to shine. Don't pay these bastards any mind. Let them be. Yep, conflict. So there could be someone that you are not in connection with and you avoid, you're avoiding certain places because you're not trying to run into this person because you know they're going to press your buttons and you don't want to react in any sort of way that could, you know, require the law maybe for someone but you know spirit is like you can't you got to get out there you got to you know if you have to deal with this person just uh keep it minimal don't let them ruffle your feathers you know you're a peacock something about peacocks do they have peacocks in australia i don't know i'm scared of those big spiders i see on, on. <laughs> anyway 
that's what I have collective thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in another video